715, welcome back. Friday edition of BT, and this will be a weekend of reflection given the fact that it is the one year anniversary of the devastating Humboldt to Broncos bus crash. And two moms joining us on the couch, two hockey moms were a part of the inaugural Jersey Day to support the families that were impacted by this crash. Uh, Barb and Jen, thank you both for being here. Uh, your children play uh, in minor league hockey in Langley, and this movement one year ago started as a chat between moms. The initial reaction you had when you heard the news and how this was created. Barb, we'll start with you. How did this all come about with the impact of the jersey? <sighs> um, on the morning when we all woke up to find out um, about the tragedy, uh, one of the moms in the community started a group chat and just she needed to share uh, and her grief, you know, and how she felt about it. and um, and it just sprung up from there and we decided that there was we had to think of a way to support the families because mostly it was it started as thinking about the moms of the um of the survivors and of the ones in the hospital and, that, and so it just it just exploded from there and went around the world um, it, to it, support you know it became a movement and when it we did. followed this story it was remarkable to see there are so many tough stories in the news cycle but this one hit home and struck such an emotional chord for you jen mm -hmm. when you looked at this when did you realize that this had become not just a local community movement but this was something ac across the world that could really help pe people heal really within hours within hours we were seeing because um, we had a hashtag so hashtag jerseys for Humboldt and we started we started noticing them coming from across the world the UK South Africa China. across Canada China um, we realized that it was more than just our local thing it was worldwide and this the mad respect for these families we all wanted to show some kind of support for them. We didn't know how. There was nothing no one could do. So what can you do except, you know, become one team, um, put on a jersey of some sort, and go forward and, and uh, survive. This year is different, though. And having this amount of time for reflection, there, there isn't going to be a jersey day. I mean, there are some people that are going to dress up, but the official behind the moms, you wanted to do something different. Why change what you created last year? What was the impact that... That, that led to the change in direction. I think that you should speak to that. Yeah, you know, I, there's no way that we're ever going to be able to have any kind of real connection to what the families felt. We wanted to be there. We wanted to show support last year. This year, you, we just wanted to, you know, just be to, to the wayside and and not. We didn't. We weren't really expecting a Jersey Day to to happen. Some schools in Langley are doing it, which is amazing. The kids want to be involved. The, the kids still understand that this was a huge tragedy. We've all been affected one way or another, whether or not it is to appreciate life one game at a time, one day at a time. Um, you know, and seeing these families and survivors going through what they've done over the last year. The Ryan continuing to play hockey. Logan's family graciously donating his organs and then creating the Green, day sh uh, green Shirt Day on, on Sunday. Um, that's what, you know, if you're, if you're listening, wear your green shirt, wear your jersey tomorrow, support the Broncos, wear a green shirt on Sunday. Um, let's uh, get the awareness on behalf of Logan for, for organ, organ donation. And, you know, I should correct myself that the moms wanted to, 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 to do things differently because there are people that are still going to be wearing jerseys and the green shirts. But as moms, when something like this happens, what's the conversation you have with your own children of how this story impacts them, impacts you, of how you look at life? Barb. Um, I spoke with my son last night and um, asked him, he's 15 years old and he's just now getting into that place where he might might well be traveling, um, you know, in, in a bus or, or um, in a group. And um, he said for him that he really um, has noticed how grateful he is, that this kind of opened up his eyes and that every day, every game they play, every everything they do, he's grateful for, for the opportunity to do it. And, and that's a big thing for a 15-year-old, you know, to learn um, how to be grateful um, for it. And that he's, yeah, he's just, um, and, and he's now aware, I must say, he's now aware of organ donation. He's aware of um, things that are a little bit bigger than he is, you know, in Langley. Mm -hmm. Jen? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, every every game I go to, every practice I attend, and I see all the kids out there with their humble Broncos stickers, I realize that every, every player has been affected. Um, and I think that's a great way to show support, a great way just for them to be reminded that, you know, there's a saying that uh, they woke up, they woke up expecting to win the game, and instead they changed the world. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's exactly what happened. You know, like they, there was a hockey team that was going to play a hockey game, and instead, 
much more has come from it. Unfortunately, a lot of people lost their lives that day, but it has opened their eyes to many different facets and of, of things that can be addressed in this world. Well, there's many ways to heal. What you have done is simply remarkable. And Jen, I just want to end on this note. You don't do these types of things for recognition, but there was a tweet from the Humble Broncos. They recognized the mm -hmm. efforts that the hockey moms made. What did they say? They said, we hear you, we see you, we love you. Thank you, hockey moms. I broke down. It was <laughs> it was what we what we just wanted to know that they weren't alone. That we could, although never understand their pain, that um, we didn't want them to bear it all by themselves. Yeah, yeah. Our collective, our collect, our collective uh, grief, I yeah. guess. Yeah. Well, the courage is inspirational on the part of you and the moms that supported Green Shirt Day, and the jerseys will be worn this weekend as we help them heal one year later. Uh, thank you both for being here. Thank you, thank you for having us. All right, more of your news stories. We'll go back over to.